Hi, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the tools and capabilities of the Doink Vector Animation app for the iPad. Let's click on this octopus icon to bring up the app. Now you will see all your drawings and compositions. Let's hit the new drawing icon. Now you have a blank screen. To bring up the tools, click on this box to the left. Let's have a look at the tools that are available. You start with your palette. This is the basic palette and you can just choose your color. Or if you want to get more sophisticated, you can bring up the color wheel and select a custom color and even change the brightness. The eyedropper tool allows you to reselect any color that you've used in the past. Then you go to the paintbrush. You can draw anything that you want freehand. Let's draw a stick figure. You can change the width or the color at any time. And if I make a mistake, I can always hit the back arrow, which is undo, or you can also go to the erase icon. Here are some of the other tools that set us apart as a vector animation package. Let's make some hair for the stick figure. You can use the fill button to color in the hair. What's really fun and cool is the shapes in the shape menu. You can pick a circle, a square, even a geometric shape. Let's make a star. Here is a circle that we can easily make into a moon just by using our shape modifying tool. You can zoom in or out just by pinching the screen. Now, let me show you how easy it is to make this person dribble a ball. I'll use the circle tool in the shapes menu to create a ball. Then the transform tool will be used to move the ball and also to rotate the arms. This is the flipbook style of animating. We will show you how to do key framing in the next tutorial. Now I push play and my masterpiece is all done. And all that is left to do is publish it to the world. Here's the publish icon. It can be posted to YouTube, Facebook, tweeted, or emailed to all your friends. Now it's your turn. Let's see what you can do.